What is up guys, Marty here with another video and today we're talking custom banners in Mountain Blade Banner Lord. So today I'm going to show you how to take your banners from this to this within minutes. As always, if you like the content or this helps you out, subscribe to the channel for more. I cover medieval games and I'm always making other Banner Lord videos, guides, mods and more. So yeah, if this helps, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more. So I won't waste any more of your time, let's get into it. As we all know, the banners in Banner Lord leave a lot to the imagination. There isn't much choice. It doesn't really let you express yourself and it hasn't really evolved in the year it's been out. So I want to show you how to create custom banners in Bannerlord or import other people from the community's banners that they've made themselves that can look really cool. I'll show you a few examples in this video and I'll show you how to do it yourself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to bannerlord.party forward slash banner. I'll link it down below so that you can head there yourselves. And here you can edit the banners um, with the designs you want to make. So you can uh, pick the shapes, the colors, the patterns, and you can be as creative as you want and make really cool designs. And then you can copy and paste them into Bannerlord. I'll show you how to do that as well because it's a little bit different. It's not that simple. Um, if unlike me, you're not very creative, you can also leverage the help of other people and take their designs to use yourself. Um, but first you need to head over to, there's a link in there. I can link that down below as well to Nexus Mods. And because they've updated Bannerlord, you can no longer copy and paste in the game so you download this mod and it lets you paste the banner code straight on to the banner screen now uh, so yeah you just go in there files manual download slow download you don't have to download any apps or uh, anything like that you just go on there and grab the download um, put that into your modules file so that it'll load when you start banner lord and just tick it when you load um, th there's guides out there on how to install mods but they're really not that complicated um, and then what I would suggest is go over onto Reddit, go to reddit.com slash r slash bannerlords, bannerlord banners. Um, I'll link that as well. And here you'll see everyone else's banners. So you can see some of the cool stuff they can do. I mean, you've got some pretty cool ones. I'll scroll through them. You've got like the KFC one. You've got some really cool designs. Um, people are pretty creative. And, you know, I really like the, um, like the fantasy ones, like the Lord of the Rings ones are really cool. There's some Dark Souls ones, some Warhammer ones. But yeah, have a look through, see what you like. Um, and wait until you've found one that you want to use, or you can make one yourself, whatever you want to do. So I had a little look around Reddit, found a few that I like the look of, and opened them up in separate tabs to show you. So once you find one you like, I just went on top all time and just searched through. So I found this one, I think it's like Dragon Age Inquisition, I really liked it. So you just copy and paste this big list of code that they put in. If you go into the Bannerlord.party uh, thing, you can edit it as well. So if you wanted to change the color or move things around, give it like your own little style, you can do that. Um, or if you just want to take the exact design as it is, you just take that same code, you go into um, the, the banner editor in your in your clan tab, you just click clan and then you click the little banner in the top left. Um, and I'll show you here, like here's an unedited one, and then you just copy and paste and you just drop it straight in and it will print onto your shields and on your banners. As easy as that. And I, I like the look of this one, but when I put it in the game, I wasn't so sure, so I went back. There's like a Spartan one I like the look of, copy, paste. And I really like the look of this Spartan one. I like the colors. I like the, uh, the big imprint on it. And I think it looks really good on the shield. Maybe not that shield with the big thing in the middle, but, but generally I really like the look of it. And it looks really good in an army. I tried that out as well. Um, and that's it. You just copy and paste the ones you want. If you want to do like a serious playthrough, you can do that. If you want more meme ones, here's a big SpongeBob one, which looks absolutely crazy. I found another cool one, like a Witcher one. That looks pretty cool as well. Um, so yeah, have fun, mess around and find one that you like. And of course, anything that you have will go onto your troops as well. So you can see I put the SpongeBob one on, got all my troops to shield wall, and it looks absolutely crazy. That's it though, guys. There's nothing else to show you. I don't want to waste your time. It's a short video because it's a topic that doesn't need much explanation. I hope this has helped. If it has, subscribing to the channel helps me out a ton. I'm trying to get to a thousand, so a thousand subscribers. So that would help me out a bunch. If the video has helped you as well, dropping a like on the channel helps with the algorithm. Other than that, have fun in Banner Lord. I'd love to know what kind of uh, banners you've been using or if you've if you are uh, creative enough to make one yourself let me know what you've gone with in the comments below have a good day i'll catch you in the next one bye